lasting love for me, he gave his one and only son, and lifted high upon the tree for everyone to gaze upon. Ten thousand angels could have come to free God's well-beloved son, but he chose to suffer there for me. He knew my soul he had to free. I wasn't there. I didn't know the pity that he must have shown to those who crucified with force and drove those nails with no remorse. He asked his father to forgive those soldiers splattered with his blood. As on and on this torture went, his tears welled over in a flood. How could they watch there at his side when his own father had to hide his face from all this sin and hate? He cried, Abba, Father, your will, my fate. By noon, they knew what they had done. They'd crucified God's righteous son. The earth took on a darkened form. As lightning flashed, it was quite a storm. I say, I'd never act like they, had I been there upon that day, to witness all what God had spent, this gruesome horror, but atoning event. Yet, hmm, I wonder if I too would flee, with all the others deserting thee. A painful question, I ask it in love. Were your followers not devoted enough? You knew their hearts and felt their pain. They forgot that you said, I will rise again. So 